I'm Alex Serena with Tuts Plus. When it comes to cloud services, Apple doesn't exactly have the best track record. That being said, the sheer convenience of such a well-integrated solution like iCloud is really hard to beat. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to truly get the best of both worlds by backing up your iCloud documents to any folder on or connected to your Mac. This could be your Dropbox or Google Drive folder, a folder on a nearby network attached storage system, or just a folder sitting on your desktop. No matter which option you choose, you'll be able to feel a little better knowing that your data is just a little bit more secure. To do this, we're going to need a handy tool called Hazel, which provides automatic organization for your Mac. It's only 28 bucks, and it really would be a steal at twice the price. The application works as a system preferences pane, automatically filing, organizing, and cleaning your files. Once you've purchased and installed Hazel, we can head over to System Preferences to get started. Once in the Preference pane, we're given the option to load some sample rules to get us started. Since we're going to dive right in, feel free to skip those sample rules and follow along here instead. So I'll click No, and then OK. But wait, let's back up for a second. Rules, you ask. What the heck are they? Rules are, more or less, just what they sound like. There are a set of conditions applied to any folder that activates when something in the folder is changed. Now that you've got a basic understanding of what exactly a rule is, we're going to add a new folder to run a few rules on. And seriously, don't worry if you're still a little confused as to what rules are and how they work. Once you get the hang of them, they really are pretty simple. Okay, so let's add that folder by pressing our little friend, the plus button, right down here. No surprise here, we're presented with a familiar open save dialog box. We're going to navigate to the folder that houses all of our iCloud files, the mobile documents folder. Now, Apple does a pretty good job of keeping this out of view from the average user, but it's not at all difficult to find if you know where to look. And lucky for you, dear viewer, I do in fact know exactly where to look. So, where is that? Well, to find out, we're going to need to take a quick detour out of Hazel and into the Finder. I'll navigate to my home folder, and then control click on any empty space. Next, I'll click Show View Options. Here, no surprise, we're given an overview of some viewing options for our home folder. Way down here at the bottom, I'm going to check the box next to Show Library Folder, as that's where our mobile documents folder is hiding. Once selected, you'll see that the library folder has appeared and we're in business. I'll head back to Hazel, and then to the home folder. As expected, our library folder is now visible. From there, I'll scroll down and select the Mobile Documents folder and press Open. So now that we've got a folder to run some rules on, how about we make some rules? Well, actually, just one rule, but it's the only one we're going to need. I'll press plus and then give the rule a name. I'll call it Copy Files. Now we need to define the IF statement in our rule. In our case, all we really need to do is monitor all files. To do that, just select any file from this drop-down menu. This creates the broadest rule that tells Hazel we're going to look for every file in the Mobile Documents folder. But that's no fun. Let's go a bit further and tell Hazel we want to exclude an application's iCloud files from our backup. This is going to require a rule that's a bit more specific. First, I'll change the if statement to if none instead of if any. This will tell Hazel to exclude certain files from our backup. Next, choose name and then is. Now Hazel is looking for files or folders with a specific name to exclude. To find that specific name, I'll head back to the mobile documents folder in the finder and select the folder I'd like to exclude. Hitting enter will select the folder's name. Once highlighted, I'll hit Command-C to copy, and then Escape to make sure I didn't actually make any unwanted changes to the folder's name. With the exact name of the folder in hand, I'll go back to Hazel and paste it into this field. And that's it! Feel free to make as many of these exclusions as you'd like by pressing the plus icon and repeating those steps. Now that we've got our IF statement taken care of, let's move on to the DO statement. This is going to tell Hazel exactly which operations we'd like to perform. First, we'll change Move to Copy as we don't want to touch our source iCloud files. Next, 
I'll choose the destination for our backup. Like I said earlier, this can be your Dropbox or Google Drive folder, a folder on a nearby NAS, or just a folder sitting on your desktop. In my case, I just so happen to have a folder named iCloud Backup sitting on my desktop, so I'll use that. Now, we could stop there as we've technically got a functional rule, but every time a file is added, removed, or changed, Hazel is going to duplicate our entire iCloud Documents folder. That would take up a crazy amount of space with almost no tangible benefit, so, needless to say, we're not going to stop there. To prevent this from happening, I'll click here to change some advanced file options. Next to If File Exists, I'll change Rename the File to Replace the Existing File. Next, I'll select Do Not Copy If a Duplicate. Now that that final bit of housekeeping has been taken care of, we can press OK and test out our rule. While Hazel runs rules at regular intervals, we can trigger it manually by heading up to the Hazel icon in the menu bar. From there, just select Run Rules and then Mobile Documents. Now as you can see, our iCloud folder has been backed up to our new iCloud's backup folder. I'm Alex Rain with Tuts Plus, showing you how to back up your iCloud mobile documents folder using Hazel.